Hey coach, welcome back to the channel. It's Leo here from Make Money Coaching Sports. So if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all the latest content that we put out. At this point, we've pretty much got content going out every 24 hours on our channel. So make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest content we put out. Now, also, if you want to get in contact with me to schedule a free 15 to 20 minute call, then you can do that as well. If you visit the Calendly link in the description of this video, you'll find my link there. You can click on it and book a free 15 to 20 minute call. Now, if you don't want to do that, you simply want to send me a, a question, then do that as well. Send it to makemoneycoachingsports at gmail.com, right? I make it a mission every single day to respond to every single coach that reaches out with questions about their training business. So today I want to talk about how to transition from club coaching into a private training business owner. So what I'm seeing at the moment, something that's that's trending in this industry, is a lot of coaches are now transitioning or moving from the, the club soccer environment into working in one-on-one -on -one or small groups with clients. Now, there's a number of reasons why this is happening. Um, firstly, it's because in a team environment, there's very little uh, time or opportunity to work with players individually. Because when we're training teams, right, we're normally focusing on the whole team in general, right? We're focusing more on the tactical, tactical side of the game and also we're teaching teams how not to lose so what happens is because groups are quite big and because the focus is on getting that team to perform better there's very little opportunity to actually work one-on-one -on -one with with clients so what coach coaches are starting to notice is that in order to help players more personally then they can do one-on-one -on -one training Right, they can do either one-on-one -on -one training, two-on-one -on -one training, or they move into small groups. And what coaches are starting to see is that one-on-one -on -one training or small group training is building an extra bit of income into into their their finances. And what they're trying, what they're starting to see is that because they're getting lots and lots of clients, they're transitioning away from that club environment. Okay, so they're moving away from team team training and they're solely focusing on working with, with clients in a one-on-one -on -one or small group setting. Now, personally, that's what happened to me. I kind of moved away from that scene because I felt that kids weren't getting enough training and kids weren't getting enough of my training, right? I wasn't able to help players individually develop working in a team environment and working in as a club also something i didn't enjoy too much of was the politics that comes with being in a in a club environment okay there's a lot of politics not just from parents oh my son has to play this this amount of minutes oh why isn't my son playing um also parents are basing results off of if you're either winning or losing matches which I felt personally doesn't indicate whether you're the, a specific child is developing or not. So what I decided to do is I decided to move away from that environment because I felt that it was very toxic and I wasn't enjoying it anymore. Okay, Because all my hard work, all my training, all my preparation was based upon whether that team could win on a Saturday or Sunday. So... I decided to move into one-on-one -on -one training because I could help players personally develop their game. Okay, I could work more on the mental side. I could work more on the technical side. I can develop them their skills at a much faster rate than they were developing in a team environment. And what I started to see as well is that a lot of my clients that I started to work with one-on-one -on -one or in small groups, they started flourishing with their teams they started to, to become goals uh, the top goal scorer on the team they started to win uh, championships with the team they started to be uh, you know 
on the starting lineup every single weekend. They became captains of the team. They became leaders. They became the standout performers. Right, I was getting a lot more results working with players personally, individually, than I was with a team environment. Okay, so how did I transition from that environment into starting my own private training business? The question was, is I made a big decision, right? I made a decision, right, I need to step away from the club environment and I need to now just focus on building my own brand, focusing on my training and focusing on getting great results with the clients I was already working with. So what I started to do is I started to work one-on-one -on -one with clients and as I started to get really great results, they started to refer other players into my program. So essentially I was doing 20 to 25 one-on-one -on -one sessions per week, which I started to feel really tired and fatigued about, and this is something I talk about previously. So what I did is I then moved into small groups. So those 20 to 30 one-on-one -on -one training clients that I had, I then transitioned them into small groups and I had three groups of about 10 players per group, which was for me, I was able to give them personal attention. I was able to help them reach their goals individually. And I was able to work with them on specific areas of the game. Now, if I had a team, I wasn't able to do that because essentially the focus of a team is to get them to win matches. Whereas individual training is more focusing on how the individual gets better and performs. So if you are a coach and you're in a similar position that you're either frustrated with being a club coach you want to move away from that environment. What I would recommend is number one, start working with clients one on one. So even if they aren't clients, what I did at the beginning, I started to offer my services for free. So I, so players that are already on my team, I reached out to parents. I said, listen, this is what I'm looking to do uh, going forward. I'm looking to step away from from club coaching and I'm looking to help players more individually. So I stepped away from, from cl club. I contacted the anyone that had access to kids or anyone that I had previously coached and I just told them what I was doing. So I reached out to Mrs. Jones and I said to her, hi, Mrs. Jones, this is Leo. I know I, I coached your, your son or daughter in the past. I'm looking to start up one-on-one -on -one training uh, for players of this age, okay? Because I feel that in a team environment, this and this and this isn't being uh, reached. So would you guys be interested in, in trying out the training and coming for a session? So that's what I started to do at the beginning. I started to offer my services for free to anyone who I'd previously coached and once they experienced the training, they liked it, then I converted them into a paying client. And what I did is once they became a paying client, then essentially I set up a referral system with them where if they referred any like-minded uh, parents or players to me, then they would get a discount of my training. But that was a way of me getting more exposure and also growing my program. Because I started off with one client who I was training for free. I then converted that client into a paying client. And then once I got great results, okay, they became more confident. They started to score goals on their team. They started to get a lot, a lot more uh, playing time. Then they started to tell other people about what I did. And then other people started to join my, my program. And essentially what I did is... I set up a referral uh, system and that helped me to gain more clients every single month. Okay, so every single month I was adding either one or two new clients to the point where it got, I was doing a lot of one-on-one -on -one training and I said, right, I haven't got time to do so much one-on-one -on -one sessions anymore. I need to change this into small groups. So I converted it into small groups where I still added a lot more, a lot of value 
And I kept the groups really small where I can still give each player personal attention and the help they needed. Okay, so if you are a coach in that similar position, number one, you need to step away from club club football, club soccer. Right. Second, reach out to any any parent or prospect that you know or you've coached that has kids that play the sport that you know that they might be benefit they might benefit from your training reach out to them offer your services maybe for free or maybe at a really really cheap cost get them to your session make sure you put on a fantastic session so they enjoy it so they like it and they want to come back and then once they are a paying client we then start to build the business from there we start to generate more revenue we start to create more services so that you can get more referrals okay so once i had about 10 one-on-one -on -one clients okay what i started to do is i started to offer some some camps so i did one day camps where kids can come in and we focused on a specific thing so it, it was a, a strikers camp i then done goalkeeping camp uh, i did a defenders camp i did um I think I did, yeah, I, I worked on wingers as well. So if you're a winger, there was a specific camp, right? So I started to get new players coming in, coming to those specific camps from, from loads of different clubs. So what I noticed is that working with one team really limited my amount of reach I could, I could help kids. But once I stepped away from that club environment, I started my own business, I noticed that, right, I don't have to limit myself to one team. I can now start to help other players who play for different clubs. No, that's essentially what my program then became. Became an environment where loads of kids from different clubs were coming in, training together and growing and getting better. Okay. So if you are a coach in this, in a similar position, you want to leave club, club soccer, you're fed up with it. You want to transition into a private trainer where you're working with clients individually, right? Reach out to me. Okay. My link is in the description of this video. Book a free 15 to 20 minute call. We can jump on Zoom. I can show you some actionable steps to take this week to help you to do that. Okay. Thank you for watching and make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all the latest content.